Hello everyone, welcome to this reading for Aries for October 2022. I will shuffle the cards now and let's see what are some important messages for all Aries. We start first with the Nine of Wands. This shows that there is a lot, there's a, there's a lot that's been going on um, in your life and everything has been difficult, it hasn't been easy. It shows that there is one more step to go and then you are going to reach an ending, um, an ending from something that was quite um, becoming too much, becoming too difficult, uh, making life difficult for you. So that is coming to an end, but there's only one more step to go. Let's see what else. They have the Two of Swords. This shows that there is, yes, something coming to an end. A situation that uh, has reached an impasse, it has no nowhere to go, it has come to an end, there's no more you can do. Ultimately, the situation ends very soon. But with the Nine of Wands, it shows there's one more difficult stage and you pass it. You move on from this. Let's see what else. We have the Ten of Cups. It shows happiness comes right after the stage. Um, happiness to the highest level, celebrations, having everything you've always wanted, uh, being happy in a family, in a situation, if it's a work situation, a family situation, a love situation, no matter what it is, it's going to be extreme happiness coming your way, pouring into your life. Right after the challenges that we talked about, which is only one challenge. Let's see the next card. We have the Nine of Swords, and that shows that you have been suffering quite a bit, and now that has come to an end. All your thinking, your anxiety, your depression is coming to an end with the Ten of Cups, which shows happiness, and of course, um, that puts an end to those sleepless nights and those worries that you have been going through. We're going to take two more cards. Now the next one, we have the star, which shows one of your wishes is going to be given to you. There's a lot of caring and a lot of balance and happiness that's going to be brought into your life by your guiding angels. Right now, this moment, they're working to make things go well for you in your life and release you from a lot of pain, anguish, and a lot of difficulty. So sleepless nights are going to come to an end. And your wishes, one of your wishes at least, is going to be granted, which will give you a lot of happiness. So having that and the Ten of Cups uh, shows to me together these two cards that there is so much um, happiness coming your way. And it's going to fulfill your life and give you everything you've always wanted, especially with that grant of that one wish. So that's wonderful. One more card. We have the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is about rewards, um, adoration, fame, recognition, um, being really, really um, shown that how wonderful everything you've done for your community, for your family, for your work, for your life, rewards from the universe coming at you from all angles. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to get the other deck and see a message from the universe. Then I'll, after this, I will do the clarifications. Okay, so it says here, when you pass on from this world, you don't take anything with you except the great memories that you have created here. Always remember to create beautiful memories because ultimately that's all that matters. So do go on, continue creating wonderful memories with those that you love, with those that you care about, because ultimately that's all that matters. That's the message for you today. Now I'll put these cards away and now I'm going to get the, uh, the island cards, which are called the island ones, and see what else I want you to know or to be careful of. Two more cards.
We have the golden mirror. The golden mirror and heartbreak. And yes, many of you are going through heartbreak. I can see that with the nine of swords over there. It shows that you are going through heartbreak. Maybe you are leaving a situation that you tried and put so much energy into with the two of swords and nothing worked. And maybe you are going through self-reflection with the mirror and trying to sort of, you know, see where you're at and what's coming next, but ultimately you are going to be, um, the heartbreak is coming to an end because happiness, look where it's at, right under happiness, Ten of Cups being the greatest happiness coming your way, so um, that heartbreak is going to be removed. Now let's see what else, um, and then again, like I said, I will do the clarification. Um, let's see two more cards, what else they want you to know. It shows that um, being staying optimistic now is the best way to go. Um, don't lose faith. Stay optimistic because something wonderful is about to happen. And also it says, um, express your love. Express your love. Um, don't be uh, remove all negativity because there is someone that you will be feeling um, the need to express your love for someone wonderful that you are going to meet and get to know. So remember, there's rewards coming. There's happiness coming. So um, you can. Uh, remove any kind of negativity or any kind of sadness um, that you have been feeling. But anyway, let us go back and um, um, clarify. I want to know a little bit about that Nine of Swords and see uh, when is that sort of coming to an end and what else does the universe want you to know about that. Your higher self has been trying to tell you something for some time, it looks like. Um, the the usher between the walls is all about, the actual high priestess is about uh, your gut feeling, your intuition, trying to tell you there was something wrong, there could have been betrayal, there could have been deception, or the separation was imminent, this didn't have to take place. Now it's actually... Um, coming true and showing that it is coming to an end and that's probably why you were suffering in silence with the nine of swords and those anguish nights are coming to an end because uh, you are destined for low happiness with the ten of cups right next to it shows to me happiness is destined to come your way it is about to come you are about to have your dreams and wishes fulfilled a lot of happiness and extreme fulfillment is coming your way now we're going to clarify one more card, which is the Nine of Wands, just to see about that one challenge. And let's have a look. Yes, it seems like the challenge could be in, um, in regard to maybe, maybe the challenge is to do with um, unique finance or some sort of support, material support, because we've got the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, which shows that uh, material money is coming, wealth and riches, uh, a lot of comfort, comfort in, in finances and big money is coming. And someone very wonderful, very uh, someone you can rely on, someone really um, comfortable, even financially, is going to be very supportive for you to move forward from this complication, which is one more step. Uh, so that's really good news. That's really wonderful. Big money is coming to support you in a big way. And there could be also somebody offering you. Uh, the King of Pentacles could also be someone offering you a job or offering you a way out, but it is to do uh, with someone quite comfortable, wealthy, and they could be offering you something like big money to do something. Or that, that could be the release that releases you from this situation. Now, um, we want to know also what are uh, some some of the star signs that you are going to be dealing with or meeting. Let's see this love, this expression of love, who it is, um, who you are going to be um, ending up with or being with in October for all Aries. We'll take two or three cards. Okay, so we've got Aries and Mars that doubled up with Gemini. That shows Aries, of course, that's yourself, but because it doubled up, it tells me that this person that you are going to be with will have Aries within them. Because we have Mars and Aries, both of them, uh, Mars is the ruler of Aries, for those of you who don't know. Then we have Gemini. So there is going to be strong Gemini and Aries 
um, within this person that you are destined to be with, the one that you are. And this is where I feel like expressing your love is all about. Um, go ahead, they're saying, express your, you know, make the romantic gesture with this person. Have the faith to do so. This person could be the one. And this person is the one that's got the Aries within them and Gemini. That gives you the clue um, of who you are spending your time in October or meeting or this person that you're meeting right after the end of a relationship. And that could be also um, someone that might have Earth energy in them with the King of Pentacles. It is a possibility also. So um, that is that completes your reading for October. I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, I wish you all the best and good day to you all.